Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to play a sound. So first you want to create a folder in your project for your audio. You can call it whatever you want, I'm just going to call it audio. And then you're going to right click on audio and import a new asset which is a sound file. I'm just going to grab one on my computer. Uh, give me something. Downloads. Alright, what is this? Yes, this will work. Yeah, this will work. You can uh, switch the quality down if you want to, and this will make the uh, the file size a lot smaller. But right now, we'll just leave it how it is. Okay. So now we have a sound file. You might want to rename it, make it look prettier. I'm just going to click on it until it gives you the option to rename it. Push it backspace. I'm going to call it logo. All right, and we're going to create a script. Let's go to your script file. If you don't have a script file yet, just make one or folder. I'll call it a um, sound test. And we're going to drag it onto the main camera or some other object. All right, now your script is attached to an object. Next, we need to add a component to wherever you put the script to. And we're going to add an audio source to it. Audio source. And you'll see that audio clip is right here and that it's empty. Go ahead and add your uh, test sound to it. And make sure play, well, you can click on play on awake, and once the game starts, it's going to play it automatically. Or and you can uh, to turn that off or you can loop it and it'll just keep playing it over and over again. But we're going to do it with code. So open up your new script that you made and uh, you want to declare a public audio clip. You're doing public so you can tweak it inside Unity so you don't have to come back to your script and uh, give it a name of something to do with audio. Now this, this is the aud actual audio clip, the sound file. So I uh, just call it something like sound file. And then you need a audio source. This is this. You need to clear one of these inside the script. So type audio source. Wow, that's awful. And give it a name like um, my sound. Now we need to make a awake function. So about just to make a function you always type void if nothing's getting returned. Uh, 
end it with your brackets, open and close. And we're going to make the script grab the stuff out of the audio source. So you want to type my sound equals I always forget this part. Get component. And then inside of the less than, greater than arrows, you put audio source. End it with a semicolon. Now, you are grabbing, this pretty much means grab or access something, the component within my sound. So you are grabbing this stuff. This is what Git Component's doing. You're grabbing this stuff inside of the audio source. So my sound is an audio source. This is like the uh, my sound audio source. My sound is like the name of it, like the header, and then the rest of the stuff right here is the get component audio source. You're getting all the components from the audio source. Okay, and now in start. To actually play the sound when the game starts, you do my sound dot audio my sound dot play one shot. So you're taking the play one shot. Uh, component out of your audio source and then you do your parentheses and then you type in your sound file the actual sound file that you download it or import it into unity and then you do a comma I believe and then you type how loud you want to be so I would start with like 0 0.8 with an F because it's a float and end it with a semicolon. Alright, so awake is going to set this up. You're going to grab all the components from my sound, which is an audio source. And then when the game starts, it's going to play the sound file that you've selected. So save that. And you should have an open slot, yes. So drag your sound file onto sound file or whatever you named it. And the game should, when the game starts it should play the sound automatically. See right here you do not have Play on awake selected. So it should do it by the code. And that's how you do it. That's how you play a sound. There's two ways to do it. You can either do it through code or you can put a sound on an object and just click play on awake. Now just before I end the video, I'm going to make it where you can push input and do it from input, like you're shooting a gun or something with your input. So I'm making a function called void my input. And if you don't know what I'm doing in these videos, I explain how, how to do all this stuff in my other videos, so go watch them. Just creating a function called my input and 
functions. For input, you do an if statement. If input dot get key parentheses key code dot space. Since there's two open parentheses, you have to use two closing ones. If statements always have open and close brackets. And we're going to play the sound once again. Just get rid of this. So we'll not play it start. Alright, so when you push the space key, play the sound. When you push the space key, play the sound. Now in update, put your function or method, play my notes, my input. Updates always for input. Okay, so when you push the space key, it should play a sound. Play on awake, select it, turn that off. Now nothing should happen when you play the game. I'm going to push the space bar now. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I'll keep making content. Like I said, if you don't know what I'm doing, some of the stuff, you can go watch some previous videos, and maybe that will help you. All right. Thank you.